Right, 70% of the UK economy is domestic. 17% is exports to the rest of the world. 13% of the economy depends on the European Union, one three. If we export to the United States, where we have a big trade surplus, we have to comply with the United States rules. So if we export to Europe, we'll, we'll comply with the EU rules. But it shouldn't shackle the rest of the economy. And actually, that's where the big gains can be made. Of course, the negotiations are focused entirely at the moment. The media is quite obsessed with the free trade arrangements and so-called access to the single market. Of course, it's a complete myth. Everybody has access to the single market. The United States and China export billions of pounds worth of stuff to the EU every year. They're not members of the single market. They have no access, they have no free trade arrangement, and yet they export billions of pounds worth of stuff every year. I hear you, John. Is it plausible for Britain to have a great repeal bill, to exit from the EU, to have a new trade deal with the EU, and have this plethora of other free trade deals with the rest of the world in a two-year time frame? I, I think it's a time scale and a legislative agenda which is utterly implausible to I think if the them. government do the right things, it's entirely plausible to do that. The key thing is that the government at the moment and the media are quite focused on a free trade arrangement. And actually what I'm saying to the government is that they shouldn't spend a moment longer than they need to on fruitless negotiations for an FTA. What they should do is make an early decision whether the, those negotiations are going to produce any results. And if not, we should actually switch our resources to the real benefits of Brexit, all of which are within the gift of ourselves. We're only prevented from doing them by virtue of our membership okay. in the single market Let's of the customer.